But um, I'll clarify um, when you did the introductions a little bit earlier. Um, you said that I, I was a mum that won. I don't. I actually work as a mitigation advisor in the court proceedings because I've been through them myself. Um, and I did win for about six months. And then obviously social services swooped in and kidnapped him anywhere, even though they turned around and said he wasn't adoptable and they didn't want him. And then he got the medical all clear and decided, oh, the same day he was going to be adoptable and to remove him immediately so yes little steps but mainly I work as a mitigation advisor in court proceedings and I have done since 2009-2010 so I've obviously been on the scene for a very 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 long time in child protection proceedings and basically private and public law outline proceedings um, the couple of things that I will highlight obviously from what listening to Katie is there's numerous triggers that instantly struck a chord um, and unfortunately because I have had this much experience we tend to to be able to pick on, on stuff a little bit quicker than others who um, may be fresh or green behind the ears as we say. Um, one of the main things of the first set of triggers that I picked upon um, is she says uh, she was separated from people obviously from a sister and stuff like that. That's it, Social services do it and some of the bad uh, advocates and people going around the court proceeding and child protection scene and obviously the family fighting scene um, do use divide and conquer lots. Um, the other one is where she said he, he seemed to bring up ideas that were very similar to her own and that's not essentially him thinking the same way it's mainly that he's picking up on weaknesses and targeting them and preying on them the fact that he mentioned about oh i want to be a brother um it's basically because she's got no family and that's the significance of why you mentioned that and it's it's literally it's very similar to a domestic violence situation predators for domestic violence seem to be able to target immediately on the females that you just wouldn't think in the million years that would actually fall prey to domestic violence. But it's because they intentionally look out for things if the, maybe the person's isolated and stuff like that, which is basically what he's done with Casey. Um, the, other one, the other one of the triggers that I noticed as well is he's mentioning um, known organisations and well-known people and trying to attach that he's associated to them and yet they may or may not actually know him personally or be advocating that he is a good support mechanism or anything like that. Um, the other one was obviously creating false, um, false false ties to charities and stuff like that that aren't actually, <laughs> they aren't known and they're not actually real. But unless somebody actually looks into it and has that initial negative vibe about it, they wouldn't think to check something out because you take people on face value. Um, the splitting up the families and stuff like that with the sister again is a divide and conquer tactic that's mainly used and it's little things like that that from an outside point of view who's used to dealing with the family scenes and obviously the anti-social services groups you can see them targeting people throughout the groups on a daily basis sure thank you i i, I really appreciate that actually the input there um so if I were to tell you that Katie was not uh, was not the only person singing from this page and there were four or five other females, or all, all, all vulnerable females, all speaking the same things, would you say there would be cause for concern? Um, it wouldn't surprise me from what I've heard from one story because as soon as you get one, you get very similar, very similar stories throughout it because the person doesn't change, they just change the person that they're targeting. Sure. Uh, they will move as soon as they, they've been found out by one particular person or a group of people they will then move on to a different target yeah. because i mean one of the disturbing things we found that whilst um julian is going is is hopping from vulnerable person to vulnerable <coughs> person, on the on the back of the names that he has aligned himself with if i'd like to use that word that he has aligned himself with some top prominent names and on the back of that, he has created groups, and I can tell you now, he has over 40 groups um, that he is the administrator of that are vulnerable, uh, that are all about vulnerable people. 